Okay, so video response to Mustex on the subject of legalisation of prostitution. Your video is actually a response to Fistful of Dicks, so I'm kind of jumping in here. Hope you don't mind. I don't agree with Fistful on a bunch of issues, but kind of thought he had a point on some of this, so hence my reply to you. Let me play a little bit of what you said so I don't misquote you. Now, as for your criticisms, you seem to have three out, so I'm going to bring them up now. First of all, there's a simple fact that your numbers are apparently being pulled directly from your anus. You're talking about a massive expansion, which I really want to see you justify. Okay, so he said legalization would increase prostitution, and you said he had no figures. Right, well obviously it's impossible to give figures for something that hasn't happened yet. Um, I guess you could look at other countries where they've made the transition, but there's no guarantee that it would play out the same way. Um, the thing is, it's blindingly obvious prostitution would increase if it was legalized. Whatever you think about it, if you think it's good, bad, you're indifferent. Um, first, there'll be a bunch of people who want to engage in the activity but don't because it's illegal. So you'll get them on board. But much more than that, over time, it would become normalized. So there's a stigma about it at the moment. Most women think it's icky for men to go to prostitutes. Like, a lot of them used to think it was icky for men to go to strip clubs, but over time it became normalised. The more people that do something, the more socially acceptable it becomes, and so more people do it, and it becomes more acceptable, and so on. So you get a bunch more people that way. The biggest reason, though, that uh, legalisation is going to massively increase the amount of prostitution uh, and I haven't heard this mentioned yet, is that if you legalise something, it then falls within the purview of business. Prostitution would become a legitimate business activity. So you'd have investors, businessmen, capital. Prostitution wouldn't be like it is now. So when you're speculating about how many men would engage in it, don't think of it as it is now. Um, think of nice premises, mass marketing, advertising, uh, imagine ads in papers, maybe even on television. How big a market gets just depends on demand. If you have business people involved, they will grow that market any way they can. I can't say how many people would use a prostitute, but I don't think a tenfold increase over 20 years would be missing the mark. I think it's going to increase massively. So there's a couple of reasons why it would increase. Um, I can't think of any reasons why it would decrease. If you can, leave a comment below. Yeah. Secondly, there's a simple fact that your argument can be applied to the expansion of any industry. No matter what the harm rate is, if you expand the industry, more people are going to get hurt because there will be more of them. I mean, you could expand the mattress selling industry and more for mattress sellers would be hurt on the job. Not because it's a dangerous job, just because there's more of them. You are a complete fucking idiot. So you said if you expand the industry, more people are going to get hurt because there's more people in it. Yeah, of course that's true. The question, I guess, is... How essential is the industry? So deep sea diving is dangerous, but we need oil. It's essential. So we need deep sea divers. How essential is prostitution? You tell me. The other question would be how dangerous or damaging is it? You know, there's, there's plenty of things we, we don't allow. So we used to send kids down chimneys to clean them. That's illegal now. Yeah, it was deemed to be too dangerous. So, if we had a dangerous, non-essential industry, would we be okay with expanding that? I don't know, it, you know, it's a cool 
that society has to make, I guess. First off, Misty, I will be prepared to bring as many women as want to enter the sex industry into the sex industry because that's their damn choice. Their bodies do not belong to me. I can't make decisions for them. Right, okay. The whole choice argument, consent. If someone chooses something, then it's okay. Choice isn't this black and white thing. I wish people would get this. This black and white concept is a tool of the powerful. That's what it is. It's this fiction that if you choose something, then everyone else is absolved of all responsibility. Choices are not black and white. They're not made in a vacuum. People are constrained by their real life situation. Someone who's hungry and has no money will make choices that no one else in their right mind would make. If you looked at prostitutes and measured their average financial situation, I'd be willing to bet it would be well below the national average. This is the kind of thing people do when they run out of options. It's what they choose when they don't have choices. Yeah? Okay, dude, have a good one.